chaos. Speaking of chaos, what's this hair doing? Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, I still need a new intro. Today is not the day for that. We're not doing that today. We're not, we're not doing it today. Oh my god, my foot is asleep and it's tingling and it's... <sighs> today we're back to Mystery Science Theater, another YouTuber's video. And that YouTuber lately has been Shane Dawson. And that late, that, and I, mm. And that YouTuber today is Shane Dawson. Um, and, and Ryland as well. I feel like that's the theme of their relationship. It's Shane Dawson and Ryland as well. But Shane and Ryland just uploaded, well, Ryland uploaded a video with a baby update. And I figured, even though I've been making a lot of Shane Dawson content, which like, I don't like to like laser focus in on like one particular person. I try not to do that since my past content got a little too laser focused on certain creators. But we've been following kind of this baby journey and at some point there actually has to be a baby journey and not just like a ton of clickbait. So we'll see if today's the day. Okay, so we're just kind of following this series. I'm not going to cover every video that Shane puts out or anything like that. I know a lot of you guys like them, but I know some of you are like, hey, could you mix it up and like do some real content? And to that I say, fuck, but also yes, I can and I will. But today we're going to watch this instead. So buckle up uh hit that subscribe button <laughs> don't i wouldn't and we're gonna watch this together if you missed it recently shane was on steve o's podcast which for some reason takes place in a van of some kind and there was a lot of like softballs being thrown his way in regards to talking about his cancellation and the things he was canceled for it was a lot of shane kind of excusing himself the whole like yeah i did this and that was fucked up but like i didn't murder anyone you know like uh, yeah no you didn't but like those things are different it just really furthered the belief that i have that he's still completely unaware of the effects his past content had on people and listen i'm not saying that acceptability and i use that word very loosely because no one was ever like, oh man, blackface is fine. Well, okay, yeah, there was a time where people were actually like that, but I, yeah. I'm not saying that people were like, oh, but, you know, blackface is cool, it's the norm, let's normalize it. And there was a level of like, it was just something that everybody kind of went, or they went, <laughs> and that's not cool. It doesn't mean that what you did was fine. He tried to like, talk about how a lot of his most offensive content wrapped around into a larger point about his own um, shortcomings or insecurities or problems that he had faced um and that i cannot stress this enough doesn't matter you still did a lot of gross shit anyway um yeah i didn't even feel the need to make a whole episode on that podcast because it wasn't necessary it was just a lot of the same you know i kept hearing oh shane finally addresses his cancellation he addresses his cancellation yeah he addressed his cancellation the same way he always does with like a minute less amount of joking behind it but that's not what we're here to talk about today we're here to talk about Shane and Ryland and this very important baby business. So Ryland uploaded a video the other day called the best day of our lives. Like you would think this child was born in home by now by the titles of these videos. Let's see what wonders this video holds. We're so close. We're like almost to the finish line of getting knocked up. Well, and Shane yes. kind of on the phone call was like, well, I guess we'll just do a boy of each. I don't know, do we reveal the second name? Who cares? This okay. is so exciting. So you guys are like on the journey with us. Today is actually our embryo transfer day. Everything's been leading up to this day and it's finally here. I couldn't sleep because I was so excited. Yeah, me too. Hello everybody. It <laughs> Gosh, look at my babies! 
So today we had a very exciting meeting with our fertility doctor and we're so close. We're like almost to the finish line of getting knocked up. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just so grateful that we've been able to come along on this long, 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 very, very arduous uh, process tax write-off tomato potato you know um so we had our meeting with our doctor today to choose which of our 12 embryos will be implanted inside of our surrogate okay from what we can see on our end there isn't like uh testing for the embryos of saying like which one is the ultimate to put inside the ultimate to put inside Eloquence. The well, ultimate. I mean, they. So, to my surprise, it's not the Olympics. The uh, embryos are ranked inside of being usable. So there's like A A A B, you know. And so the Let's guy. Get to okay, it. the doctor was going through, and he was like, "Oh, it doesn't look like Ryan has any like females that are A A." And so wow. both. <laughs> what? Okay, you go for it. No, no, no. You keep on it. How is it that Shane has been vlogging again? making long form videos again and still can't let Rylan just have his own vlog to talk about what's happening in a way that he wants to talk about it. Like I, sh I, I, I get it, Shane needs to be there so the views come in, but like, damn, let the small one talk for a minute. Y'all know how I feel about Rylan. He bothers me in a way that I can't identify or explain, but let him talk. This is his vlog. Went into this thinking we were gonna do a girl of mine and a boy of Shane's. And when he was going through, he was like, well, the most optimal for pregnancy on both of your ends are boys. You have two AAs on each side. And Shane was like, well, wait, why don't we just do two boys then? I know, it was weird. Okay, so many things in the universe that made this happen. Oh Lord, here we go. Oh, tell me about how God put Gatorade in the mercury in the microwave because you're a cancer and Rylan's a Taurus or whatever. The stars align and all of your angel numbers combine to make one big angel number and how it's just fate that it would happen to you on your half birthday or whatever the fuck. Number one, for a random reason, I turned on Full House the other night and they have two boys, Nikki and Alex. And I was like, oh my God, why is this so cute? Like, why does two boys make sense? Like, wait, are we gonna have two boys? Like, it was a weird thought in my head. Totally forgot about it. And then, Last night, I was like, so we're still going with a boy and a girl, or what if they say that that's not possible? And we just like, haven't really fully talked about it because we're like, we're gonna know in the moment. And then in the moment, it was like, boom, it hit me. And then I looked at you and you were just like, Well, and Shane yes. kind of on the phone call was like, well, I guess we'll just do a boy of each, like without consulting really no, with me. I looked at you like, is that? I was just like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. It just makes sense because number one, they're not gonna be identical because there's two different dads. Right, yeah, they're not gonna be identical because they're both gonna have different DNA because, yes, two different dads. I, that, I, that felt like a nitpick even coming out of my mouth, but they're so, I don't wanna say misinformed about how pregnancy and basic biology works and stuff that it just, it feels necessary to correct pretty much everything. But, wow, drama. No, <laughs> sorry, just like, two different baby daddies. But. <laughs> That's right. Never forget, no one makes Shane Dawson laugh quite like Shane Dawson. But also, they're gonna be so different. I'm. S we're so polar opposites. So like, and they'll have each other. And in a few years down the line, we can have a girl or two girls and they'll be the older brother of the girl. Like it just all, Felt right, but then he's like, "Well, is the surrogate okay with that?" And we're like, "I we think so because she's had twins before. We haven't like well, and our like what we came to terms with with her was implanting too. But since we've been talking to her, we haven't really like brought up like, oh, like are you super okay with implanting too? How have we gotten approximately seven thousand videos during this process? And I call it process because the it. That nothing has happened. How have we gotten this far in this series and you haven't discussed this with your surrogate yet? 
is the surrogate a real person? Is she in the room with us right now? Or is she perhaps three knockoff Aldi cereals in a trench coat? Weird. It's weird. It's all weird. Like my hair today. Because obviously, like, carrying twins is a big thing to do. Yeah, it really is. As someone who's done it, I can tell you it's a huge thing to do. It is a huge commitment. And even if she's done it once before, wow, yeah, high risk. Always, instantly. For the babies and the carrier of said babies. Might be something you actually want to talk to someone about. And we texted her and without any hesitation, she was just like, yeah, I'm totally fine with implanting too. Okay, but here's the craziest part. Get ready for this. Okay, first of all, I don't think we really expressed, or I guess we did, because I'm having a full on hyper excited panic attack. Um, or what's the opposite of a panic attack? A fun attack. Ooh, that sounds better. <laughs> I'm having a fun attack, but yes, two boys. That is, well, here's the thing. We're manifesting, we believe in God, the universe, it's all gonna happen the way it's supposed to. If something happens, because there is a chance of both not, just like in a normal yeah, pregnancy. two could take, one could take. None could take, and then you've made a whole series. Exactly, the surrogate was like, well, there's also the chance that they'll split and you'll have four babies, and I was like, Ugh. And I was like, splitting? An embryo splitting? And she goes, well, that's what identical twins are. Yeah. And I had no idea that that's how that happened. Really, are you sure? It seems like you guys are like really well versed in the biological functions of human life and how it's created. Could have fooled me. So there's a chance of anything happening. We're gonna be so excited with any outcome that is a healthy child, whether that's one or, you know what I'm saying? So we're sitting there and the doctor's like, well, confirm with the surrogate before I, you know, take out the embryos. I'm literally confused at how confirm with the surrogate is a thing that their doctor said to them. Isn't that something, I mean, this feels like something that needs to be, are they paying this woman under the table for this? Because I would think, I'm, and I could be wrong, I, I could absolutely be wrong, I'm not super uh, well versed in in the fine print of surrogacy, but I would imagine that to make moves like this, to, I, I, this would be something that, I mean, there would be I's that needed to be dotted and T's that needed to be crossed legally for that to be part of your surrogacy journey, right? Because, I mean, even if they're paying all the medical expenses for her, you know, as is usually kind of part of the transactional part of a surrogacy. I mean, that requires an insurability. Like, having one kid and having twins, those are two very different pregnancies. A twin pregnancy is high risk immediately. A multiples birth is high risk, always. You can have the healthiest pregnancy in the world, but you're still technically high risk. My pregnancy with twins, I went to the doctor monthly and then at the end, I went every week. And by at the end, I mean like the middle because I gave birth six weeks early. Because twins are high risk. Isn't this something that should be looked at by an attorney? And like the people who are perhaps in charge of the company she is a surrogate through? How is this such a loosey-goosey ass process? I don't understand. If you know more about surrogacy than I do, feel free to educate me in the comments because I'm genuinely curious. I'm not trying to be snarky. I'm genuinely curious how this hasn't been a discussion between her doctor, their doctor, which I assume there's a crossover there, a lawyer, and like probably some other people. <laughs> Shouldn't she have to sign something? Shouldn't they have to sign some? Shouldn't there be signatures flowing? So then I was like, okay, so I texted her, me me and him texted her. In our baby group chat. And we're just like, hey, like, what about twins? Like, tee -hee. <laughs> Um, You know, but also if you don't want to do that, totally get it. It's okay. And then I'm on my way to the bathroom. And I know you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but let me take you through my journey. This is Shane thinking he's like Albert from the birdcage. Too swishy. When he's really just kind of insufferable. Oh, you bastard. 
Okay, we were sitting right here on the couch speaking to the doctor on speakerphone and we're like, okay, well, we'll just check with the surrogate and we'll email you later tonight to confirm. And we hang up with the doctor and... And I stand up, I press send and I'm like, God, I don't wanna ask for her to say yes to this, but like whatever happens is meant to happen. But you know, whatever. So I go to pee and I'm walking to go pee. And first I see this, these two bottle of tequilas that are twins, but one is kind of different than the other, which is weird, right? Yeah, it, that's super weird. Uh, it's super weird that you bought tequila, um, one silver and then one standard, and that they're on um, a liquor cart in your house next to each other. That's so fucking weird. <laughs> Call the exorcist, because this is fucking crazy. Like, you're destined for twins. The proof is in the tequila. I've never seen anything more cut and dry. This should be the subject of your next conspiracy video. Because like, we're gonna have twins, but they're a little different than the other. So then, I'm like, that was weird, but maybe I'm just imagining it. Walking, walking, walking. And then I see, over under the security cameras, these two pigs. Now, ignore the fact that they're kissing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if that's the best example well, no. to show. But trust me, this is going somewhere, I promise. So I see those two pigs and I'm like, weird. Okay, they're kissing, that's weird. But two pigs that are twins, weird. Then I look right above them and boom, on the security cameras, the pool in two different cameras, like twins. Shane, are you okay? Has, has Shane Dawson been doing a lot of yoga? Cause that was one hell of a reach. And I'm like, okay, now this is getting crazy. So then I go pee. So then, after I go pee, I come out here to Ryland and I'm like, okay, I have to tell you this weird universe thing. And then, boom, she texts. And she's like, yeah, I'm great with twins, let's do it. And I was just like, oh my God, the universe. Oh my God, she answered your text in a timely fashion. And then I said around, I'm like, I took him through my journey and I'm like, and then I saw this and then I saw this. And then I look in the TV stand and in my head I'm thinking, well, I don't want to tell him about the pigs because they're kissing and that's weird. So I guess I just won't tell him that part. And then I look at the TV stand and look what's on the other side. Twin dolphins! Are you kidding me? Oh my God, I had the same experience when I realized I was going to be a twin parent. I walked into the bathroom. I was naked. And I walked into the bathroom and I caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror. And I yelled, oh my God, twins! Because I saw my bare breasts. And I was like, oh my God, it's undeniable proof. And, um... Yeah, and that's how I became the best damn twin mom that works at Arby's in this entire trailer park. What? Are you kidding me? And I told Rylan, I'm like, and then I saw the twin dolphins, but in my head I'm like, oh, I really saw the kissing pigs. And then Rylan goes, look, there's also twin pigs. And I'm like, I know I saw those too, but I felt weird because they were kissing. It was a whole thing. And then, ding dong, a package arrives. I got Rylan an Easter present that was late, and it came two days late. He opens up the package, right? <gasps> Hold on. And it was our baby's first onesie, which is so cute. And it's for a boy, because for some reason I was looking at boy and girl stuff and it just felt wrong. The girl, I was like, I think it's gonna be a boy. I don't know why, I just feel it, it's weird. So I got this, right? So I give it to him and I'm like, oh, it's a sign. But then in my head, I'm like, but there's only one. So then, I did not know this, I bought a pair. So there was two for boy. For boy. Okay, not to be a pisser, but that was clearly just a set that came together and not like two separate purchases. Um, also, they look very gender neutral. Also, you ordered it. Why wouldn't it come to your home? Anyway, thanks for letting me piss. Which is so crazy because up until this morning, we thought we were doing a boy girl and the first thing he purchased was for two boys. I know. It literally, it's black and white. That could be for literally any child. But it's great to see we're keeping the gender stereotypes alive. And then um, some of my other presents came. So I got a lot of onesies actually. <laughs> but those came a few hours later. But those are also for boys. There's just a lot going on. And we figured out the names. Ah! Got in a Ralph Lauren little onesie. It comes with a cute bib and a beanie. He got me a cute white hat that like matches with their first set, a little blanket, and oh, I'm so obsessed with the baby shoes. Burberry baby shoes. Wow, that's not a colossal waste of money. Oh wait, yeah it is, <laughs> $230 to be exact. 
Good luck in parenthood, fellas. It's good to see the priorities are in order. Now practice saying, Get up off your ass and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. They just want to burn their money on Burberry baby shoes. Oh, and then, guess what else came today? So we were talking about, you know, in, I think in the previous vlog we talked about the baby's nursery and like my vibe. And I was like, oh, I want like Toy Story clouds like on the walls in the nursery. And then, look what came today. My clouds cup. It's a sign. You ordered it and it came to your home. How is it a sign? I, I mean, if it magically showed up on your doorstep like Harry Potter after a wand fight with Voldemort, um, maybe. But honestly, this just sounds like Shane trying to convince himself that this is a good idea in Rylan's vlog. Also, how many words has Rylan gotten to say? Like maybe five to ten-ish, roughly? This is going in the nursery, babe. And we figured out where the nursery's gonna be. <laughs> There's so much going on. You need to calm me down. Okay, well, you're getting way ahead of yourself. It's almost like I could do my own vlog and you could shut the fuck up. I'm just trying to fill in the blanks for you there, Rylan. I don't know. Do we reveal the second name? Wow. Spoiler alert. Okay. So also before we decided on two boys, we came up with one other name we liked that just Who's so here? happened. Who's here? It's Orkin. So we had come up with one other boy name before we decided on two boys that we were like super jazzed on and we were going back and forth like, okay, is the boy gonna be named Jet? Which is what we were talking about previously, which now I'm also saying is gonna be Jetson on the birth certificate. So you're not planning on liking your child at all? But everyone's gonna call him Jet. Okay, <clears throat> this is one of my like pet peeves, just like in general. I hate when people are like, I'm gonna name her Bordeaux, but it's gonna be or for short. Like just name her or. Name the kid Jet. Like you don't have to have a full name. Like that's such an antiquated thing. Just name name the kid what you want to call the kid. There doesn't have to be a short for. Like you can just name the kid what you want to call the kid. Just name it paycheck and get it over with. Yeah. So now that we have two boys, are we really gonna reveal like so much in one video? Who cares? This okay. is so exciting. So you guys this, are like on the journey with us. The second. Well, should we go to the nursery? Okay, so yes. If we're living at this house, we also decided what the layout of this house will be because there are two bedrooms that have like a Jack and Jill bathroom. Okay, so it's confirmed that you're gonna keep the LA house and live in it then. That must be cool. Which we're not opposed to raising the kids in Colorado, by the way. It's just, we're gonna be having babies at peak crazy winter in January. That's intense. So I think we're gonna at least raise the babies for the first few months here and then figure it out. Kids, I mean, I suppose not as much in the infant stage, but like kids need stability and like a constant, something they can rely on, a place that they can call home. Um, so I hope they settle on one house or the other. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know about the dead pig in between us. Okay, hold on. <laughs> well, okay, so obviously you guys know one of the babies is Jet, short for Jetson. And then yesterday, or no, on Easter, we were driving to my mom's house and out of nowhere, I was like, oh my God, I think I know our kid's name. And you were like, what? And I was like, I don't know, it just came to me. I think we're gonna have a son named Max. And then he was said the same thing. He's like, yes. I go, I was at a like, coffee shop this morning and the barista was named Max and had a name tag. And I looked at the name tag and I was like, wow, I love that name. And literally three hours later, he said, I think we should name a boy Max. Okay, listen, I know I was always like the first to complain about how like these videos were like clickbait or it like took 20 minutes of a 30 minute video to get to the point that was stated in the title. But this video could have been a fucking email. And I was like, yeah. So Max and Jetson, Jetson Adams, yeah. Max Adam 